behind the scenes. When I got the book, you name names. You have some of the specifics. You have some of the secret documents in there. I was just delighted. I was shouting to the walls when I was reading it. Uh, how did you, uh, having written other books in the past, how did you decide to really put it all out there, and what made you write Mind Programming now? Well, you know, the bottom line, uh, Stephen, you and, you and I go back a long ways in this area, and, and I've had the good fortune to actually sit down with you, have coffee, and, and, and chat. Uh, I don't remember if you had coffee or a soft drink, but I had coffee. That I remember. But you know as well as I do that every day um, every human being is consuming information and that this information has got a politic behind it. That is, there is an agenda. Now, when you go back and you, and you look at the history of, of our information age, you really have to look first at a man by the name of Bernays, Edward Bernays. That's right. Edward Bernays was Sigmund Freud's nephew. And what Bernays did is he looked at Uncle Freud's work and he said, you know, if we can just uh, tap the powers of the unconscious, my uncle has discovered, if we can do this, we can sell anything to anyone. In his book, Propaganda, he literally lays out uh, the right of the elite to control the masses in an otherwise... Uh, an otherwise uncontrollable group of people by giving them the information and the lens through which they're to look at this information. Now, Bernays founded this stuff called, you know, uh, scientific marketing. Since then, billions and billions and billions of dollars have been spent by everything from private industry and merchants and marketers to governments around the world. And in so doing, we have reached a level of sophistication where we no longer look at GSR or, or breathing uh, pneumo belts or blood pressure cuffs and things of this nature. We're using things like uh, enhanced magnetic resonance imaging. And now that field has become known as neuromarketing. Well, using neuromarketing methods, we look at the brain. We look at exactly what happens in the brain. One recent study shows that if you show a smoker the Surgeon General's warning on a pack of cigarettes, the nucleus cauda, the, the reward center of the brain, is excited. Indeed, showing that warning causes a smoker to want to smoke. So what is really? That? So it's com it, it's basically counter uh, intuitional. That, that's